A Nightdale man now faces a murder charge after deputies say he shot and killed another man in his driveway. Deputies took 36-year-old Neil Dick into custody soon after the shooting Saturday afternoon at his home on Rutledge Landing Drive in Nightdale. 47-year-old Derek Natson was found dead when deputies arrived. WNCN's David Hurst joins us live in, the night, in Nightdale with the very latest. David? Good evening, Maggie. Deputies still have the home marked off with crime scene tape after they found the victim's body here in the shooter's driveway. Now, family and friends tell us the two men were pretty close, and they're shocked and just wondering how something like this could happen between two friends. I don't know. I don't know what happened yesterday. He said he was going to the store, and he just never came back. Charlene Lucas and Derek Natson had dreams of getting married and settling down in the Nightdale area. They moved here two years ago to escape the crime and pace of New Jersey. It's just crazy. Like, we didn't come down here for this. We came down here for a better life, a calmer life, and everything. Natson was killed after police say he and two other men drove to Dick's home in a pickup truck. Witnesses say Natson and Dick got into an argument and shots were fired. Authorities say Dick then called 911 and surrendered to deputies at the scene. I didn't understand it because that was his friend, you know. He used to fix my car. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. Nobody has any answers. I just don't know. Family and friends say they'll remember Natson for being selfless and always willing to help. They say the kids of the neighborhood clung to him and called him Uncle Rock. If you needed something, he'd help. If you flat tire, he'll do it for free. He's just a, that type of person. I don't know how I'm going to get through it. I don't know when, but, you know, it would be okay. Now Dick is currently being held at the Wake County Detention Facility. He's expected to be in uh, court as soon as early tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Nightdale, David Hurst, WNCN News.